focus. A force strong enough to start a fire. But in today's world, focus can be extremely hard to find. Busy streets, loud noises, food, social media, entertainment, all at our fingertips instantly when we want it. What would happen if for the next 30 days we cut out all the distractions and just try to focus? It's the 2nd of November. I basically treated yesterday as a test day for this whole month. What are the rules and the protocol I'm gonna be following? Wake up at 6 a.m., meditate for 10 minutes, do at least 30 minutes of exercise, post four YouTube videos, and in bed without phone at 10 p.m. I think this is kind of the perfect difficulty. It's, it's gonna be a challenge, but it's definitely not too big of a challenge. I know this is possible. The plan for now, what I was thinking of doing is I have this like block right here. So I'm, I want to put on a, put up a habit tracker on the wall with every single day of the month. And then after we've completed one day, we just take it off. One done, 29 more to go. Over the next week, the routine continued and we worked on some YouTube videos, got a few trades and did some nice calls inside of Valhalla. Today has been a really, really productive and insane day. Like I've just recorded the live trading video. That's probably like, it's gonna be out right now when you see this video. It's the number three. I'm not gonna spoil it, but if you wanna watch that video, you can watch it somewhere up here. I feel like the momentum is building up. It's getting easier and easier. And like, I'm getting more and more results. By the time 2024 is here, our snowball is gonna be huge, like already rolling down. The momentum is gonna be insane. And I can't wait because I know like 2024 is the fucking breakout year. Like I'm so excited, I'm putting in the work every day and we're just grinding. This is like the recipe for success. Another recipe for success is this mindset course by Sam Owens that I went through during the weekend. I created my alchemy of self, in other words, the person I need to become to achieve my dreams. The next day, I tried to print everything out. But the text wasn't there and the colors were all messed up. So I just ate my eggs and went back to work. It's 3 p.m., almost 4, and I still I haven't ate anything today. I'm like totally fasted. I'm not really that even that hungry to be honest. Like I've just been working non-stop since 6 a.m. Bro. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, almost 4. 9 hours. <laughs> nice little finger counting. 9 hours bro of just focused work. That's insane. And I just, I finished the editing as well. So I'm gonna upload this and schedule it to Thursday. And here's the cat. <laughs> nice, he wants some food. I'm not going to the gym because I switched to full body workout for this purpose, to be able to get more time to focus on the work stuff. And now I only need to go three days per week and the rest four days, I can just go like 30 minute walk outside or if I'm going somewhere or doing anything else. That's basically my 
exercise for the day. I still need to get this shit printed out though. We might have to go to Stockholm. This is one of those things that you don't really think about when you first start doing YouTube and you don't really sign up for it, but you have to do it. And I mean, it's not a, it's not really a, that big of a deal, but I want to store all my files and I want to save them somewhere safe. And that's why I'm super excited and proud to present this video sponsor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Fuck that shit. No sponsor. We don't need that sponsorship. <laughs> But we have a super excited segment that we're gonna be doing now in this video. They literally delivered a packet to the other end of the street. Like, total different end. Anyways, I got it. Let's go. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. What or who? Who or what was in the box? And I'm gonna show you right now. But first, drum roll. Yes, I got a new camera. And before everyone starts to go crazy and just shout at me, like the reason I got this camera, and I already have the one I'm shooting on right now, but I'm gonna, we're gonna sell this camera. And we're gonna keep this one and the reason i got this one in the first place is because the ibis or the in-body stabilization basically if i were to shoot or film like handheld or if i were to just hold it like this and vlog style the footage on my current one doesn't really it's not really sta like stabilized so it's just wobbly and it's super choppy you can't really see anything but with this one, it's a lot better, like a lot smoother, which is super nice. I say we go to Stockholm. I'm literally just gonna have my eggs a bit earlier. It's not really 12 o'clock yet, but I'm gonna have my eggs and then I'm gonna head to Stockholm and we're gonna just go crazy. I'm gonna take you with me. We have a lot of stuff to do. This one, you know, and I'm gonna buy some stuff. We're gonna explore basically. And before I go though, I'm gonna I'm gonna tape over the brand or the logo the Sony logo just because I don't want to get stream sniped in the middle of the streets like if some motherfucker sees me with this like in the public it can be a bit risky but I'm just gonna tape it over so it doesn't really so it's a bit more low-key you know but yeah I don't think anyone is gonna mess with us anyways okay that looks a bit less risky to me. Looks good. This camera was laying outside in the cold, like minus degrees, on a random uh, house stairs for like one hour or something before I got, before I came in and rescued it. <laughs>
Okay, we're in Stockholm, guys. We're in Stockholm. So, I need to go get some camera stuff and then I'm going to the library. Like, for the first time in maybe like 10 years or something. It sounds so weird to say it, but yeah, we're going to the library. And then at the end, I have a super special surprise for you. Right, it's been such a long time since I was in Stockholm last time, so I gotta have to do it. Don't judge me, but I'm pulling up Google Maps because I can't find this place otherwise. So if you ever want a guide in Stockholm, don't call me. Or actually you can call me and we can split the bill <laughs> because I need a guide too. Okay, we got the papers. Now just one last stop and then I'm gonna go home. But this one is super good. I'm gonna, it's a surprise, bro. And it started to snow. It's snowing. Mayday, mayday. We're gonna have to cancel. I'm going home. It's snowing so much. And it's fucking cold. Okay, so we're back in the lab. I'm s like, we had one more place. I s wanted to go to so bad. Like, I've never even been there. Like, and I've been in Stockholm so many times. But as you saw, we got some problems. It's like the craziest fucking snowstorm ever and it's like not even compact snow if that makes sense it's like wet and the camera as well this camera was super fucking soaked and the lens as well like i don't even know if you saw me in the last clip that we did before we headed home we got the papers this is some of the important stuff the colors the blue are a bit off, but it's a lot better than the ones I did here at home. So this will do. That's more than enough. I probably should talk a bit more about what this is and what it is I'm actually doing. Because this is super fucking powerful. This is like the difference between me succeeding and me not succeeding. It's insane, honestly. Also, I had one more point that I wanted to speak about and I was saving it for the last place that we were going to, but I guess I just have to do it now instead. I woke up later. I slept in basically. I think this is a super good learning point that every one of us can learn from. And as you can see, or you can't really see on my habit tracker, but at this point we have three missing days. It's so easy to get upset or get beaten down by this fact, but instead, I think this is a really good lesson that it's not about the streaks. In this case, it's not about being able to do 30 days in a row. It was never about the streak. It's about implementing this new way of living and becoming that. It's about becoming this new person. You're gonna have Two step forward, then you're gonna have one back. It, like everything. Progress isn't really smooth, but it compounds, and that's the important thing. Once it starts to go, and once it really, really shoots away, like it just flies but like this. Boom! And you won't even know what happened. I'm pretty tired, not gonna lie. Pretty exhausting to walk around. 
in Stockholm. Bro, I got like five copies of the same pages. I just realized they printed out like three copies. It was a bit like struggle to get the machine to work, but... Okay, hopefully we have all the pages. Okay, so, as you saw me, I just finished some of the work. It's basically a map or an overview of the whole uh, Valhalla Traders process, or system rather. So we have the server, which is the Valhalla Traders community. Then we have the live Q&A calls. Q&A calls, basically. <laughs> and now we also are gonna add the course, Valhalla Trading Secrets, which I'm... Like, this is gonna be insane, I think. And I'm gonna put it in there, like, for totally for free. And that's the one I'm currently working on. The whole core section. And when it's finished, in, I don't know, four, eight weeks, like, one or two months, probably. I, I want... Oh, shit. <clears throat> I want... <laughs> I want to get it done before uh, next year, like, the New Year's. And hopefully we can get it done by then. And I'm gonna put it in the server, so everyone that's already inside are gonna get access to it, like, completely for free. Like, we only want some feedback on it, right? But To improve it, basically. But other than that, nothing is gonna change. We still have 100 cap on the members. And if you wanna join, like, depending on when you see this, because I'm gonna be honest, in the future, like, in the next year, a few months from now, like, we might blow up on the YouTube channel, right? Like, that's to be expected, kind of, right? <laughs> but then, the demand is probably gonna increase a lot. So, I spoke with some of the members inside already, and when I, sh like, preview the course, and the whole guide that I'm gonna put in there, they actually, like, told me that I should probably charge for that. And I might do that in the future, but for now, I'm gonna keep it for free. So I just want to be honest and tell you like right off the bat that in, if you see this in the future, the whole community might be behind a like small paywall. And that's just to filter out the actual people that are dedicated and want to surround themselves with that community. The ones that are serious from the just takers. The one that's just there for their own gain and basically not a team player. Yeah, it's bank holiday, so I'm not even looking to trade today. A little bit past 10 a.m. And I'm actually gonna go to the gym right now, so cue the music. Always my own damn fault that I'm falling for you. We haven't even talked, still I'm obsessed with you. Was it your milky eyes or your skin?
heard that four eggs per day is apparently really good for boosting testosterone. I think I might have taken it one step too far though. Wait, there's more. Four eggs per day, right? Four eggs per day, right? And after today, we have one more to the collection. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Okay, after a somewhat of a mess, we have the breakfast. And because I went to the gym, I usually just do the eggs, but now, because I went to the gym before, I wanted to get a little bit more food. So I made some bacon as well. And then, as... <laughs> fucking bird. And then as always, the, this uh, magic thing. If you're a bit more advanced in terms of nutrition, you notice that there's barely any like carbs in this. Maybe some gram in this one. Yeah, it's like 1.7 grams per 100 grams. I don't. I have no clue what that is in uh, like in pounds. The reason behind this is because I don't want to get brain fog. I still have a lot of work to do today, so I need to keep my mind clear to be able to focus on producing super good work. And then it's time for supplements. So I'm basically just taking vitamin D, omega-3 and some other stuff. <laughs> it, totally like no sketchy things, okay? This is quite funny because the recommendation for vitamin D is like 600 per day. And this bad boy is 10,000. That's like almost 10 or 20 x what you're supposed to take in a day so we're we're fucking rolling boy we're fucking rolling 10k down omega-3 this is the worst one because this is the biggest not some lifestyle supplements take some water mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Ah, four. That's it. And now we're ready to get back to work. So one thing that just happened, I was having a little chat or a little conversation with my thumbnail guy, David. He basically just talked about the um, Valhalla Trading Secrets, the course I'm gonna be doing, like you heard before, right? And I just got so fucking upset. The education out there, it's so fucking garbage. And this might just be my ego. I said this to David as well. This might be my ego taking over, but I kind of understand how or why it takes like two, three years for most people to actually learn how to trade. Because there's so much fucking complicated garbage out there. Honestly, that's it. Because I went through this process of learning, right? And I went through hundreds, two hundreds, like hundreds of hours of learning this skill. Out of all the things I learned, I only used like this much of it on a daily basis. And if you've read the book like The Turtle Traders, you know that you can learn how to trade. Like you can learn how to trade basically overnight. My idea is that you need 20 hours of deliberate practice, like intense feedback loop. You need someone to guide you. So as soon as you start to go off road and focus on some bullshit that doesn't really matter, you need to be guided back onto the road again. After 20 hours of doing this, you have the skills. That's all, like, you know everything, all the concepts, all the rules, all the fancy stuff. You know it, you have it down. It doesn't take three years to learn that shit. After that, it's about sticking to one system, sticking to one thing and refine that thing backing it up by data, collecting data, mold your strategy to fit your personality. The thing that takes the most time is executing the system because that's, you can't really force that, right? You need to let it play out. That's out of our control. But the thing that is in our control is 
creating the system, testing the system and trusting it 100%, becoming super confident in it. And I'm, I'm gonna say this right here, when I look back at my journey, up until the last video that I made the backtesting 10,000 days in a row, like before that, I see the strategy I was like trading, I see that as just fluff. That was nothing compared to what I'm doing right now. If I just went through that process one or two years earlier and had the blueprint in front of me, the rules I had to follow basically, and fully mechanical by the way, and you go through this intense period of backtesting like I did in that video, after that you skipped one, two, three years of your journey. And the thing that I find so funny over and over again is that you start to learn it, then you get a dip, right? And then you have to grind it. It goes slower and slower and slower. But eventually, if you just stick to one thing, that thing is gonna like compound exponentially and you're just gonna shoot up. The thing is that most people, they, they start up, get a good start, and then it goes slowly, they get a dip. After a few weeks or a few months, when they're on their way up, because they don't see the results, they feel the need to switch. So they jump on another thing and that just resets the whole process and the progress. They start over and they get some initial push up in terms of some results. Then they get the pullback. They face a setback where it goes slower. They get some obstacles they need to overcome, but they never stick to one thing and actually like become the master on that one thing for long enough to then see the results with that strategy. And I can say 99% of you that watch this right now, if you're struggling with getting funded, you're blowing the accounts, anything, it's, be it's because you don't have enough data backing up your system. You're not confident in your strategy. And if you're, if you're saying that you are, maybe you're trading something that isn't fully mechanical or something that isn't really matching the way you want to get involved. It's not like I'm trying to pitch this Valhalla traders. Now I'm just like, I'm, I just got so fucking mad at this because honestly, this thing that I'm gonna do inside here, the Valhalla trading secrets is six weeks. Initially, you might think that it sounds like a lot, but if you really zoom out and think about it in the bigger picture, six weeks to learn how to trade because honestly i don't see a reality if you do follow this process if you do exactly what i set out on this roadmap like think about it you learn how to trade in six weeks instead of going through like three years and i've seen the content out there everyone out there like that teaches this shit it's so fucking crazy how no one can actually like how everyone just accepted. It's gotten so fucking complicated. They're complicating everything, adding a bunch of nonsense that doesn't really matter. So I'm just here trying to help you, get you back on like the actual track, the fast track to success. So yeah, that's my little rant for now. So if you wanna join Valhalla, link in the description. It's completely for free at this point in time. Just apply with the survey down there. I love taking action. I feel exhilarated and proud by taking action. And I build extreme momentum and prosperity when taking action. So we have two choices now. One, we could just be upset and mad, sad about the fact that we didn't get up on time and the fact that we're now we're not going to be able to box out day number 24.
Yeah. 24. Or we could just accept the fact and take full responsibility and just basically go to work and because we have a lot of things we need to get done and time isn't waiting for anyone so however it is friday and it is black friday which means we have potentially some stuff we need to buy okay as you can see we're on ftmo's website they currently have 20 percent off on all challenges this is not only FTMO, every prop firm pretty much have a campaign for Black Friday at this point. But the reason I specifically want to go with a FTMO challenge right here on the discount is one, because it's 20% off, which is quite a big discount. FTMO is one of the firms I want to get like max allocation with. I think it's $400,000 at this point you can get with FTMO. And I want to get that because one of the goals I have for 2024 is 1 million in prop firm capital. And like if I'm being realistic, right now we're currently doing 100k on funded next, 100k on funded engineer. And I also actually bought one 100k with funding pips like last week or something because it was a discount as well. And we got one for like $350 or something. And that's insane. If I look back when I bought my first 50k, I didn't even... Like that's pretty much the same amount I paid for a 50k. I haven't executed anything on that account yet. So I can't speak on the spreads and... The, or the spreads looks fantastic, but I don't know about the slippage. So we have to see about that one. So we have 300k in challenges at this point. And with this one, it's going to be 400k. And like I said, FTMO is the one I want to invest a lot in. It should be the most stable one. Not financial advice. <laughs> We're going with the 100k. FTMO MT4. And at this point, I might have to start using a, like a trade copier again. Because we have a lot of different accounts to execute on. 20% off, baby. Confirm. Okay, so payment approved. We got the 100k account. And uh, like I said, I'm not really gonna be trading on those. But because I know I wanna go with FTMO and like go for max allocation basically, I think this is a really good time for me to just get the account because it's 20% discount and I don't think there will be any like better opportunities than this. We have the 100k FTMO account, which is super nice. Now, one thing though, at the moment, like right now, and this is a bit scary to say, but I currently have in my bank account $50. I have $50 to my name at this point of time. November, the 24th of November, 2023, we have $50. Now, that might seem like crazy or it might sound ridiculous, but hear me out. So first of all, we have done a lot of investments. <laughs> we have invested in a lot of like gear, camera stuff, and now $400,000 in challenges. Technically it's money that are just like waiting for us to cash it out again in terms of the refunds and potentially like future payouts. But with that being said, I do have a few S's up my sleeve, you know? So hopefully we're able to cash in some money and get some more cash going. If you remember, we have a camera and some other gear I'm gonna put out for sale. And that's probably gonna be like around $1,000 at least. And also this is super fun in a way because I've never been broke. <laughs> like I'm not saying that in a like ego way but I've never really experienced fully like I've never seen zero in my bank accounts but now I have $50 I think this moment for me it's just gonna make it so much more sweeter in a way because I got to experience having literally $50 in the bank account and otherwise <laughs> if it doesn't work out you're just gonna see me in like a Starbucks or something right so everything is gonna work out and life is gonna 
be great. Okay, so we just put it up on this like Swedish site, which is the eBay, like Swedish version of eBay basically. So already we actually have four views on the on the post. So I priced it at basically the same as the new one, which is seven to eight hundred dollars, like in dollars, I believe. But I also include some extra accessories like batteries, charger, all this stuff, like a cage. So it's a pretty good deal, but the only bad thing or the only issue is that this camera is actually on Black Friday like sale at this point, which means if someone is in the market to buy one and they see that it's on sale, it's a high risk for us that they go with a brand new one and then buy the extra accessories by themselves. But I think we just have to wait because this is a pretty good deal in my opinion. So if we just wait it out, wait for Black Friday and Black Week, all this bullshit to end, Cyber Monday as well, which is coming up, I believe. After that, it should be pretty easy to sell this. Okay, so as we can see on the monk mode <laughs> habit tracker, we're on the last week and it's actually only three more days remaining and we have a few things we need to get done. We need to make one more video and then we have to see if the camera actually sells or not. <laughs> and right now it's fucking snowstorm outside. I don't know how good you can see, but it's literally snowing like crazy. <laughs> we need to make sure that we finish strong because you can't really see right now, but if I move away, we had three misses in a row, three days where we messed up in a row. So the first one was the one you just saw me before this clip, like waking up, we slept in basically. And then on the 25th, we went to bed super, super late. And that then continued over and rolled into Sunday, where, which made me wake up later as a result of me not going to sleep on time, basically. This is important that we can just finish out this whole video and this whole challenge, this whole month with good momentum to keep going in December and then eventually into the New Year's. The next day we recorded a backtesting video and uploaded it to YouTube. Okay, so now it's actually the 5th of December and the challenge is over, but I'm like, I'm currently editing the video and just finishing it up and this is gonna be the outro just my key takeaways and just a brief reflection of the past 30 days and honestly it's like mind-blowing for me to actually see the growth that we made in just one month because when I look back at myself at the start of this challenge like in the start of this video it's like I'm a completely new person and the momentum that we've built in the last month I it's just right now that I'm really starting to feel it to harness the seeds that we actually planted 30 days ago it's now we see the results and that just goes to show that 30 days that's all you need to basically become a new person in a way and ingrain a new habit into your life because waking up at 6 a.m. and going to sleep on time those are my new standards if I don't live by those I feel bad inside and that's a good thing but it can also be a bad thing but ultimately it's gonna help me to achieve my dreams and the key moment I think of this whole challenge was when I went through the mindset course by Sam Owens and created my own alchemy of self and if it's one thing in my personal life that I'm gonna take away from this challenge it must be to just be honest and authentic with the people around you and just tell them exactly what's going on and be honest about it because I've been doing that with my family recently especially and it's like do you want to live an unauthentic life because you were afraid of what other might think about you or do you want to live your true self 
to your fullest potential and being authentic to the people around you. Even though if you feel fear and discomfort with this one, it might be the better way to live at the end of the day. So we still have the camera on sale on the Swedish eBay, <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to include it in this video. So potentially in the next video, like depending on what if you like this type of uh, document lifestyle vlog style content, right? If you like it, you can tell me, or if you prefer the like back testing like the last video. And one last thing as well, like if you applied to Valhalla traders. I've seen a few people reach out to me saying that they've applied and want me to go through their application. Like, I'm sorry if I haven't gone through your yet, but like I said before in this video, we're currently at 100 people, the member cap max. So either I have to kick someone else that's inactive or we might increase the cap to 120 or 150 people if I feel like that's a necessity. If you just were to take away one thing from this whole video, it's the fact that if you're currently in a rut, if you feel like you haven't really, the year didn't really go as you planned it out to go, or you didn't achieve all this different stuff that you wanted, and you know that you wanna level it up in 2024, now is the time to start. You don't wait for the new years to come around. You start right now because you still have one whole month. And if there's something I learned from this experience and from making this video, is that one month or 30 days it's a lot of fucking time and a lot of things can change and you can become a completely new person even. And the momentum you're gonna have at the start of next year, it's gonna be so much easier for you to just go out there and get your dreams and your goals if you start and make the right preparation. This is gonna be my proudest work up until this day. So if you like the video, <laughs> smash that like button and let me know in the comments so with that being said i will see you in the next video